Hey, what's up everybody? It's Ebony and this is video number four in my stock option series. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about put options. So the market has been pretty red lately and I'm sure some of you guys' stocks have been bleeding out profusely, but there is a way that we can stop that. There's a way that we can hedge our shares that we have and still make money in a market that is red. And those are called put options. So there's two terms that you should probably know. Um, one is called a bull and the other is called a bear or bullish or bearish. Um, if you're bullish on a stock, then you're optimistic that that stock price is going to rise up soon. If you're bearish on a stock, then you are confident that the stock price will be going down soon. I'm a pretty optimistic person, so naturally I am normally a bull but I'm go where the money reside, okay? So sometimes I'm a bear. And in this market, the past few weeks, I've been a bear. So in order to make money in a bearish market or a red market, we need to purchase put options. Yes, so that's what we're gonna learn about today and I'll get into that right now. Okay, so now we're in the Robinhood app looking at Tesla. This recording is from March 19th, and Tesla was down $25 this day. It actually was down $141 this past month. So some may think this might be a good time to explore put options. I am bullish on Tesla, so I probably wouldn't personally do this, but I'm just showing you this as an example of how to do a put debit spread. So let's get started. So you're going to click on trade, then trade options. We're going to select, I think it's going down because this is a put option. So we are predicting that the price of Tesla will be going down. Tesla's current share price is $675.96. And since we think it's going down, we need to have a number in mind how much it will be going down by. Is it 680, 660? So let's keep that number in mind. And on top of the screen, you see a bunch of dates. Those dates are a part of the contract that we're buying and they determine when the contract is going to expire. So that's how long Tesla has to drop to whatever number we have in our head, 680, 660. It has to drop to that or below it by the date that we pick, which is called the expiration date. So let's go ahead and select March 26th for this example. So if you look in the middle of the screen, you'll see that Tesla's current share price is $676.38. And on the left-hand side, you'll see all of these other prices. Those prices are called strike prices. In the contract that we're purchasing, the strike price is going to act as our prediction of how much Tesla's stock will be per share by our expiration date, which is March 26th. And since we're purchasing a put option contract, Tesla would have to be at whatever strike price that we select or below that number by March 26 in order for us to realize profit from the contract. So the prices on the right hand side in the green boxes, those are called premium prices. That's the price that we have to pay to purchase the contract. Remember that each contract typically represents 100 shares of a stock. So all the prices on the right hand side need to be multiplied by 100. For example, a $685 put on Tesla would cost $3,520 for that contract. So yes, that's pretty expensive, right? <laughs> well, I'm going to show you a way that you can get in on all this put action on an expensive stock like Tesla for less money and therefore you're risking a lot less. Okay, so you're going to make sure in the top section that buy and put are selected. Then you're going to go ahead and click select in the upper right corner. So then those bubbles on the left hand side will pop up. And remember when I told you to keep a price in mind of what you think Tesla will be at by March 26? Well, here's why. We're going to select two strike prices that we think Tesla's stock price will be below on March 26. So for instance, we can select $690 and $680 for our strike prices. This gives us a spread. So we're going to buy a put for $690 and we're going to switch over to sell and then select $680. This gives us a spread of $10. 
So this gives us a total cost of $5.33. Remember we multiply that by 100, so the total cost would be $533, which is a lot better than that $3,700 from earlier, right? Debit spreads allow you to purchase put options on an expensive stock like Tesla for less money because there is a maximum profit that you can receive on this type of contract. Unlike the option that I described before, the one for $3,700, there will be no cap on the profit that you can make if you purchase one of those types of put option contracts. The maximum profit for a put debit spread option is always the difference between the width of the strike prices minus the premium multiplied by 100 because each contract represents 100. So in this example, the difference between the strike prices is 10 and then you subtract 530. Now multiply that answer by 100 and that will be your maximum profit per contract. In this example, if Tesla's stock price is below $680 by our expiration date of March 26, then you will receive your maximum profit. I rarely hold my options until the expiration date. I typically sell once I'm happy with the profit or of course, if I'm losing money and I don't wanna lose my premium, then I will go ahead and sell depending on the situation. Remember that you can only lose the premium that you paid for the contract and nothing more. This price fluctuates as the stock price of Tesla rises and falls. So there is a suggested price in that limit price box. And if you want to purchase one contract, enter one. If you wanna purchase two contracts, enter two and you can go ahead and enter in that suggested price of 530. If your order doesn't get filled, you might want to go ahead and put in a higher number like 540 or 545 just so that your order gets filled right away. Once you're done, you're going to swipe up to submit and it'll bring you to a screen that shows you whether or not your order was filled, it'll say zero out of one. If it wasn't filled, it will say one of one or however many contracts you purchased, two of two, three of three, um, if all of your orders have been filled. If you wanna go ahead and replace that order so it can get filled, like I was mentioning before, then go ahead and do that and adjust the price as necessary. Or if you would like to wait until Tesla falls, like let's say your budget is $500 and you only wanna pay that much, you can go ahead and put in $5 and then you can just wait all day to see if that order will be filled or not. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate you making it all the way to the end. I will be talking more about stocks and I will be talking about crypto soon. So stay tuned for that. Um, you know, I'm also going to be posting different areas of self-development on my channel. So stay tuned for that health and fitness mommyhood, finance, and career. I also am a business owner, so I'll be talking about how I started my business and how I'm currently running it. So please stay tuned for all of those videos as well. Um, hit the thumbs up if you like this video, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you can be notified when I post a new video. I really appreciate you guys taking the time out to watch me, and I will see you next time. Bye.